Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today I'm going to do a little bit boring test with the radius. Uh, if you ask me what is a radius, it's a it's a database, but it is different than other kind of databases. Why? It is because it's uh, it's based on memory. When this database is in running, what he uses is the computer computer memory. He save data inside of memory and read the data from his memory. And you may still ask why he want to do that. Well, it's simply because reading and saving data in or from the memory is much more quicker than doing the same thing with a desk. That's why they created such a database. And also, what kind of software or why we need why we need such a, a quick method for data fetching and saving why we want to have such a thing well uh, for some cases for example uh, if, if you have a programmer and uh, that program needs to save some temporary messages in a very quick way um, in and, and that kind of message doesn't uh, really that important. Uh, then you could uh, just save it into memory, and you don't you you can leave it alone. You don't have to worry about it. And also for some cases, if 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 your service needs needs to have a very quick, let's say, if you program needs to handle some some informations in a, a dramatically uh, a quick way, you also need this kind of technique to help you achieve that purpose. Uh, but all in all, um, let's learn it by doing. And in this kind of framework, it's bounded with Flask. Why we use Flask? Be because it is simple, right? We we do not want to tolerate ourselves. We we don't want to do a lot of useless stuff to be able to run a simple service, right? So um, that's why we use Flask. And along the way, uh, the topic of today is to introduce you guys a technique called a uh, flask radius or how to use the radius with the flask and to be more specific is 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 to learn how to use uh, this packaging uh, but before we do anything here yeah, for me um, in, let's say in the 2020 in the year of 2020 I have made a Post uh, uh, related to the radius. It's about how to use it with Python. Actually, we could just install the pure package of it and use it in a in a very simple way like this. First, we import it. Then uh, we connect it to a radius server by doing this. This is very normal if you uh, want to use Python to connect some databases. Um, and then how 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 do we use it? Well, it's it's quite simple. We just have to use uh, set to set a key. And value to it, and use a get function to get the key values. So this is a basic uh, usage for it. Um, and I start to wondering if I should start from this. So basically, uh, the first thing you have to do is to install this Redis packaging. After that, uh, let's just create a Python script to do some experiments with it. Uh, first, we connect into it, then we set a value to it. Let's say for the LAN equal to insert so then we got an error because we need a password then we give it a password password equal to radius password and it's working why because I have set it a radius server with a, with a password of, of, of this uh, if you don't know how to do that it just just Google it by yourself I don't want to explain that um here we go after that uh, setting we can get this uh, uh, land back wait a minute why get this oh here we go it should be inside so and it's a uh, it will not return you a string it will return you a bats object or just the bats still I think this is a uh, kind of boring so can I just go to the the radius let's say documentation to have some uh, checks where it's it I don't know Here's its documentation. We can go into oh here we go. Expires. Set a timeout on key. After the timeout has expi has expired, the key will automatically be deleted. So this could be a use case. Let's say if you okay, 
uh, let's just use it right um here we go we can set the expire can i seen like this i don't know if we can do the same thing with python mm, let's try it out r here we go we can get all those comments right in here we got a delete function we got an expire function that's awesome the only problem is i don't know how to use it um for this situation we got uh let's say uh, if let's say if we can just use the help function here okay with the help function we can say the expire function will take first the the key of a radius then the time and the time is has a unit of second so let's say we could set the key of len with an expire time of three so after three seconds later the len would not be appear uh, in the radius database anymore so for now if we try to get the len key again we would get an error or we get nothing let's try it out here we go we got nothing we uh it's probably equal to num let's check it out yeah it's equal to num so uh this is uh let's say the basic usage of radius and i guess that's enough for us it's quite simple and uh, easy for us to understand yeah uh the another problem is that we want to use flask along with it uh here's the post uh, it asks for the method of integrating Redis with Flask and someone answered him with a simple solution you just have to import the Redis and start a, a, a client after that you could be able to use this kind of thing without any problem so you do not have to use the uh flask radius or kind of things like that you you do not have to do that so let's just do a copy here's the the flask code so here we go we make the radius catch a let's say a global variable then um for this kind of thing we can we can make some logic we said for example we uh, let's say for this case we could get an item right but that's not what i want for example, I just want to do this for the set function. It will first take the key, then it will take a value. It's also a string. For this case, th this function, I would would like to limit uh, as a set, and it will take the key and value. And what we want to do is is to do this. We say if Redis the catch exists with that uh, key, then we do nothing. We just has it else we do something we would like to say um radius catch that uh, set i don't know if i could use set uh basically we could he only got two useful functions one is is for set another is for getting so um, i will use set set what set the key with the with the value so this is a function for set and if it if it has no other problems we will just uh, return an okay string so this is a road for set then we are going to create another let's say function or road for this one i'm gonna limit to get uh for this function it will only requires one argument which is a key so for the key if it exists in that of a in in or radius catch we will just return the result which is radius catch dot get from that key if it's not exist we will just return this we do a format we want to say key is not exist then we need to run this function we will say apps dot run we i'm going to run it in the local host with a port of 911 I don't know if we can use it or not, but that's it. And I'm gonna set the debug equal to true. Now, if we run this program, we got an error because we got two functions with the same land. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna allow me to guess. Now we run this program again. We got an error. How about we change this to 9111? And for this time, everything just works without any problem. Uh, then we I just want to go to this uh, Redis, and for this case, if I set uh, if I set it to get with a key, let's say len, what can we get? Len is not exist. Okay, then we set a len. Uh, we're gonna set it to let's say Google. Then we try to we try to get such a len, and for this time we got a Google. 
So basically, this is how you use it. Uh, so at least we know one thing. That is, even if we do not use the Flask Redis, we we could still be able to still be able to run this kind of software without any problem. Uh, but for this case, this is just one part of um, this tutorial. Some people may still want to use uh, uh, Flask Redis, so let's do it. Uh, I, I just do a copy from the main to, let's say, we set an app or something like that. Then we go to the app.py file. Then we copy those uh, Flask Redis configuration or command. We replace it with the oldest one. And I'm pretty sure it still needs some configurations from us to be able to work. Okay, for now, if I run this application again, we got an error. No module lambda flex radius, so we need to install it first. Uh, we could install it by using pipe 3 install radi uh, flask radius. Then we run it again, boom, without any problem. Now let's do this test again. First, we we try to get the LAN. We got an error. Radius exceptions. Authentication or authentication error. That's something that I didn't expect. So let's just do some experiment with it. First, we want to print out the GAP documentation of Flask Radius. I try it out. And for this case, uh, this object will only receive the app itself, nothing else. Uh, so fuck it. I I do not like to use this kind of thing. Let's uh just try to um do something else. For example, we could uh, search Flask session for database access. Uh, you know what? I start to think that maybe it shouldn't be that complicated. We we just we just need to import the videos. Radius and uh, use it with Flask. That's all. We we do not need, need to use uh, some some fucking third party um, libraries. We do not need that. Okay, let, let them fuck themselves. Um, here we go. That's today's tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.